a good way to get students enrolled in your module is to get them to register on the site themselves, find your module and just enroll themselves. Now you don't want all students enrolling in your module, just people who stumble across your course. So what you want is you maybe have a an enrollment key that you have specially for those. So uh, let's see how you would go about setting that enrollment key for the students. Now, first of all, I'd say is that you should know the exact name of your module. If you check edit settings here up on the left, okay, this will give you the precise name of the course, the full name. You should give that to your students so they can search the site for that specific name and they're more likely to identify it accurately. Okay, so to set the enrollment key, this is under users enrollment methods. By the way, if this block is missing out here, this course administration block, it may be up on the side. You can bring it in again by clicking there. Okay, so in the course administration, let's have a look at our enrollment methods. And you should see a self enrollment method. It may be given a slightly different title already. It's usually just called self-enrollment student. And what we want to do is we want to edit the uh, settings for that and self-enrollment method. And you can see that in this this icon in this particular version of Moodle happens to be a little spanner. It doesn't really matter, but we're going to edit that. Okay. And we'll see here that there is an enrollment key. Okay. You can't see what the enrollment key is. If we click in this box here, It'll allow us to see the enrollment key of this is demo 2013. So if I want to change that to 2014, I would do that and we might even call that change the name of the enrollment method because you can have lots of different ways. You can create lots of different enrollment keys and ways for students to get in. OK, and we would save that. So basically what we've done is we've changed the enrollment key to demo 2014. So what you need to do now is give the students the exact name of your module and uh, the enrollment key that you've just set. They should be able to find your module and when they try to get in, uh, they will be asked for that key. And if they've got that key, they will be in and they don't have to do that again. Now remember, they do need to be registered on the website in order to do that. So if they haven't registered on the Moodle website, uh, make sure that they do. Okay, thank you very much.